and it rinses so quickly. It's easier to get it clean without a machine with new Aerial Rapide. I'm Phil Donahue and proud to be host of America's longest running syndicated talk show and soon you can join us for Donahue when we join Tim. And here's your chance to be part of an audience for Donahue in London. If you'd like free tickets, ring 01 388 You'll be held in a queue and your calls will be answered in rotation. Time now to join two tiny scene stealers, Sophie and Sean, in That's My Dog. So stabbed. The securical man managed to get his money safely back into the van, but died later in hospital. The window cleaner is now in Birmingham Accident Hospital, where he's said to be seriously ill. The police have started a murder investigation and are putting together descriptions of the two men. Rescue services have found the bodies of all four crewmen from the RAF tornadoes which collided in midair. The two aircraft, which had taken off from RAF stations in Norfolk and Leicestershire, were on separate low-flying exercises. They crashed half a mile from the village of Melbourne in Cumbria. The mid-air collision at dusk was an accident an MP for the area said locals had been afraid would happen. We've repeatedly predicted that there would be more accidents in the county and tonight we've got a further tragic loss of life and 35 million pounds worth of equipment has disappeared in one bang. I mean we can't go on like this. The government just don't understand that people in this county are becoming increasingly angry over what's happening. As the Royal Air Force this morning began its inquiry into the crash, a spokesman defended low-level jet fighter training. It was vital, he said, for modern aerial warfare, and he believed the general public understood. The Royal College of Nursing is meeting to decide on its next move following the breakdown of pay negotiations. Representatives from all three nursing unions walked out of the pay talks yesterday in a disagreement over the way the new pay scales are to be implemented. The unions want all nurses responsible for running a ward to benefit, but the health authorities say only one nurse per ward will be upgraded. The first United Nations observers sent to monitor the ceasefire in the Gulf War have arrived in Baghdad and Tehran. A unit of 400 Canadian soldiers is also setting off to take up positions along the Iran-Iraq border, which is 750 miles long. They'll provide the communications needed by the observers, who come from 25 different countries. The comedian Ken Dodd has been committed for trial on 27 charges of tax fraud. The magistrate at a court in Liverpool granted Mr Dodd bail of £50,000. His passport was held after the prosecution suggested he might try to leave the country. The Energy Secretary Cecil Parkinson has agreed to more than triple the maintenance payments for his four-year-old daughter Flora Keyes. He'll now pay £10,000 a year for Flora, who's currently recovering from a brain operation, instead of £3,000. The next news is the one o'clock news with Martin Lewis. Hello again. Well, if you're going on your holidays in the near future, you might be interested in the weather over in Europe and the Mediterranean. Even if you're not going on holiday, you could still be interested, I suppose. So here we are. We can take a look around Europe to see how things are looking for today. I'm going to start by taking a look at the temperatures. Uh, you can see the contours here. The coloured areas represent different ranges of temperature. Green is cool. That's Iceland, 15 degrees. And very red is very hot. 40 degrees, for instance, across many parts of North Africa again today. 40 degrees, which is into the hundreds Fahrenheit, of course. But most parts of Central Europe there, well into the 20s, so it's uh, pretty warm even there as well. Now, Oslo, 25 degrees, not to be sniffed at, but a bit cooler as you go further north. There is rain, actually, in uh, northwest, northeastern parts of Scandinavia just now. And you can see that on the satellite sequence here, but the thickest cloud is actually the stuff that's coming across the British Isles this morning. Some quite heavy rain, actually, off that western fringe of Wales and southwest England even now. So starting off in northwestern parts of Europe then, there's a bit of brightness still left on the eastern side of England, but uh, generally speaking it's a fairly cloudy picture, though there is some brighter weather now crossing Ireland. Some nice sunshine though in western parts of Scandinavia, particularly Norway there, where it's going to stay dry for the rest of the day. Moving further east though, it's not quite so good, quite a mixture of uh, showers and some more persistent rain actually in Finland and in the Soviet Union as well. 